What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the difference of 8 and 12 gigabytes of RAM and what this can do for your gaming performance. And this is specifically for my computer, so if you guys upgraded from 8 to 12 gigabytes on your laptop or desktop, the results will definitely vary, but you will most likely get a gaming performance increase. You always will get a gaming performance increase, but the uh, amount, the, the noticeable uh, amount of frames is uh, definitely subjective compared to what computer you have, or depending on what computer you have. Now you might be wondering why I'm in Counter-Strike, because this is a really easy game to run, and it only needs 4 gigabytes of RAM to run at an optimal, uh, it does just to run optimally in general. So you don't need 8 or especially 12 gigabytes of RAM to run the game faster, but for me, um, when I went from 8 to 12 gigabytes of RAM, I actually had like a 60 frame increase, actually over a 100 frame increase. As you guys know in my last uh, update video that I did about this this computer that I talked about the gaming performance, I was getting around 100 FPS, 80 to 100 FPS in this game. And after upgrading to 12 gigabytes of RAM, I am now getting 200 to 220. As you can see right now, I'm only at 150, 140. But when I play for a few hours straight, uh, my computer will eventually overclock itself, and then it get, and it stays at 200 to 220 FPS, which is great. And uh, especially in comp matches, which is what I'm usually doing. So this is team deathmatch. So there's definitely a little bit more intensive intensity going on because there's more people shooting guns and there's just more people in general. But as you can see, there's definitely a big frame increase. I'm sitting at around 145 FPS 150 and sometimes I will jump up to 180 and 190. I've actually had 8 gigabytes of RAM for or, or 12 gigabytes of RAM rather for about a month now and I've had it for a while and I've been planning to do a video and I've definitely in depth I've definitely played a lot of games in depth with 12 gigabytes of RAM and the entire reason I upgraded to 12 gigabytes of RAM was because I wanted to play Battlefield 1 at an optimal frame rate and uh when I was playing Battlefield 1 with 8GB of RAM, I was getting around 45 FPS on the bare minimum settings, which is what was not acceptable. I was like, holy crap, I can't play this, I, I need to play 60 FPS, oh no. But yeah, definitely 60 FPS is pretty much, oh wow, I'm good, I'm so good, I'm so good. He's, he's obviously really good too. But anyways, I was really like, I need to play at 60 FPS, I need it. And it's, a, it's sort of become like a requirement for me if I want to play or uh, get a game or run a game on my computer. I want it to be at 60, which is what everybody really wants because it's basically the threshold for quote-unquote smooth gameplay. So um, this is it for pretty, this is pretty much it for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, as you can see, around 155. So that is um, not, not really as much as I wanted to show you. I, I really wanted to show you guys when it would sometimes bump up to 220 and stay there. Uh, during comp games, but uh, when I join a comp game, I have to kind of, you know, I have to kind of stay there for an hour and a half until it ends. So <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. But um, if you take my word for it, you should can, or you, you don't have to. But if you take my word for it, sometimes I will be playing at those really high frame rates. But let's go ahead and hop into Just Cause 3, which is going to be the next game. I'm, I, I'm not going to be doing Modern Warfare 3 in this video just because not many people play it, and it had an, and, a, and it had a 60 FPS frame roll, frame lock, and I was getting 60 on max settings. So we don't really need to test out that game anymore so we're gonna go ahead and hop into just cuz 3 and I'll see you guys there alright guys so here we are in just cuz 3 and as you guys know from last video or the last video that I made about this game and how it performed I was getting about 45 FPS on the bare minimum settings at 1080p. Now I am playing at medium low settings at 1080p, and I am now getting a steady 60, even up to 64 there for a second. I'm getting a steady 60. We will blow some stuff up and have some fun to make sure that that frame rate is stable and it doesn't drop too much. But so far, I'm basically just getting a steady 60 FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my options here. So guys, as you can see, anti-aliasing is turned off because it really takes a huge hit on performance and it really doesn't even look much better uh, to me. Texture quality is at medium, water detail is at low because I can't even really see a difference. There might be a little bit of a frame hit there too. Uh, water tessellation is off, the lot factor is low, and shadow quality is on medium because shadows look really good in this game. So this is what I mean by medium low settings, there's medium low here, and pretty much all of these are off. You might be able to turn on motion blur for uh, whenever a frame, whenever a lag spike happens, it'll just make it a little bit smoother with some motion blur. But pretty much everything else is turned off here. And uh, yeah, that's medium low settings. So guys, we're getting a steady 60 FPS, sometimes dropping down to 55 there. Now, keep in mind that my screen recorder does take about 1 to 3 FPS off. Now, that is basically nothing, because NVIDIA Shadowplay is very, very optimized. So let's go ahead and fly down here into the city, 
it definitely feels really good to play this game at a very smooth 60. It's really nice, and I do enjoy it a lot. Also, I actually got rid of all my mods, so I can't get any sports cars. I forgot about that, because I had some mods last time, and I had a mod that gave me infinite range and grapples, and it unlocked all the cars and all that. Uh, <laughs> but I got rid of those to play through the game normally, and now I don't have any cars. I'm going to have to take a car. I'm going to have to be a... This is going to have to be Grand Theft Auto for a little bit. Let's see here. Oh man, all these cars are slow. These are slow cars. I don't want slow cars. Any fast car This car's good enough, whatever. Get out. It is my turn. My turn. My turn. All right, let's uh let's go. Okay, wait. How do I do this? Okay, yeah, this one. All right, so do that. They actually they actually Okay, never mind. They saw me. Okay. Time to boost off into the next dimension. Let's go, guys. Woohoo! Okay, it's probably going to blow up soon. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Okay, get out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no, I have to move, I have to move, right, move away from me. Oh, well they died and I'm about to. Alright, so while that explosion happened, we dropped down to 43. But as you can see, now that we're out of it, we went right back up to 60. And we are, we are absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and get rid of this sign here. Of their crazy leader. Alright, let's get rid of that. Oh, there's a bunch of them here, there's a bunch of them. Let's kick this dude, pop, kick him in the face. Alright. Okay, let's take one of their cars. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I probably shouldn't have taken one of their cars because they can drive just as fast as me in their cars. Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting destroyed by their navy. G boom! Run him over. Good job. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's let's knock over his sign. Boom! Are you? That didn't. Okay, I'll just I'll just shoot it a bunch. There we go. That worked. But somehow ramming it with a car didn't do anything. I wish I had that big nuke gun right now, because that's what I use one of my mods for, to unlock it, so I can't shoot a big gun and have a huge explosion happen uh, to, you know, to simulate a big FPS drop, and uh, that's unfortunate. But I do have a bunch of bombs that I can plant on things, so we'll go ahead and plant five of those. Um, what? Oh, hi. Yeah, I left. I'm not, I'm not here anymore. That guy was stuck in the running animation. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He was it was stuck in the running animation. That's hilarious. Hi dude, how you doing? Okay, th okay, that missed for a little bit. Don't call anybody. Don't call anybody. Are you joking? I'll kick you to kill you. I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna kick you until you die. I'm kicking you. I'm kicking you. I might die by kicking you, but I don't care. Kick him. Kick him more. Where'd he go? Okay, just shoot him. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I can't have him living, so I need to leave. Let's blow up this dude's statue over here. So let's go ahead and plant uh, a bunch of bombs on his legs and stuff. Let's plant two. Let's plant four down here, and then plant one right here on his butt. There we go. So now we're gonna fly here, and we're gonna see what kind of frame hit happens when we detonate these. So we're gonna do that for a little bit. Get out of here. I'm doing a test. All right. So let's see. Keep an eye on the frame counter. I'm at 67 FPS. That's pretty good. 68. Let's see what happens when they blow up. We drop down to about 51. That's actually really good. And then we go right back up to 60 FPS. So that is really good. This game is very stable now that I have 12. And uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM was actually something I got a message about. This is a game uh, that, um, that actually does recommend having more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. Every time I started up the game, it would say, hey, you need more RAM and all that. And it definitely does help. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for Just Cause 3. Oh, wow, I just got this really fast motorcycle. Oh, 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 hi, moped. Hi, moped lady. I'm normal. I'm not weird. I'm normal. All right, guys. Here we are in Battlefield 1, one of my favorite games. And uh, the, the this is, again, the main reason that I did actually upgrade my RAM. And I am very happy to, to tell you that I can easily run the game at 60 FPS now. And uh, basically, right now... What is going on is I'm going to be playing at uh, about medium high, or not, no, medium low settings. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here. As you can see, I am playing at 1080p. My brightness at 50 here. That's not what really matters. All this stuff doesn't affect performance. This is what matters. So as you can see, I'm at medium texture quality, medium texture filtering, low lighting quality, low effects, low post process, medium mesh, medium terrain, and medium undergrowth. Anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion are both off as uh, they don't really seem to look much better to me and they do take a huge performance hit. So 
I am easily able to play huge game modes such as Conquest, I believe that's what it's called, I, I can't believe I don't know what it's called when I play the game so much. Uh, quick match here, yeah, Conquest, I, this is what I usually do. So we're going to hop into a Conquest match here, so that way we can test out the performance of this game. Now keep in mind that before I upgraded to 12 gigabytes of RAM, I was getting about... I'd say 45 FPS maximum. This is when I was playing on the bare minimum settings. And now I'm able to play this game at medium low settings at 60 FPS. And sometimes even a little bit higher as well, which is great. All right, guys, the game just loaded. Let's go ahead and join this squad here. And, uh, okay. We're actually losing. That's okay, though. I'm not going to stay here for the whole game anyway. I'm going to ditch my team. Oh no, alright, so, as you can see, directly up to 60, oh crap, okay, I actually forgot, I had to restart my computer, uh, because, uh, this, the game was giving me some trouble with not going into full screen, MSI Afterburner is not up, for me, I have a frame rate counter up in my top right corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide back here and turn on MSI Afterburner, alright, alright, oh no, I'm getting shot at, I'm getting shot at, okay, time to run, time to run, time to run, time to run, dude, can you heal me, I'm at one health, can you heal me, okay, never mind, thank you, alright, so as you can see, we are at 60 FPS, which is good, let's go ahead and try spawning on G, we're actually about to lose that, let's go to a support class as well, actually, I'm gonna spawn on my teammate right here, alright, oh, he just came under fire, okay, let's spawn on G, try and help him out from down here, however far away we are, he's up there somewhere, Oh boy, how you doing? Hi, 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 I'm, I'm bad at the game, I'm bad at the game, sorry. Oh no! Oh boy, where is he? Where is he gonna come up from? Where is he gonna come up? Okay. Can I get healing? I need, I need a medic. Yeah, my wounds need patching. Is there any- Hey, you, you, dude. Please, please. Okay. As you can see, my team is absolutely amazing. They're even better than me. Hey, a medic! Cool! Maybe that was the dude that was gonna heal me. Okay, cool. Alright, and I'm by no means good at this game. I just I just love it to pieces. Oh gosh. Hi. I didn't even know you were there I actually got a kill though. That's good. All right Ammunition people take some I need I need healing. I need healing very bad. Oh My gosh, we're all over here. Okay. Let's I think we're all going to D. So let's go there Where are they are they up there? I, I don't know where they are. I'm just here to support. There's some ammo for you, but oh Some ammo for everyone. Do you need ammo? There's some ammo for you, bud. All right. Uh, oh, oh, where are they? Where's the sniper at? I don't know where anybody is. All right, let's go. Let's throw a gas grenade up there. Uh, I threw. It, I, I didn't even throw it at the, the objective. Get him. At least mark him, dude. As you can see, really good aim. We all left G, and this is what happens, you guys. Gotta get that horse. I actually got him. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 that's not happening, no, 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 not in my house, but on the gas mask, we hiding, we just crawling, we crawling, oh hi, nice, please kill him, okay, thank you, I had my mask on, so I had terrible aim there, and I died, and as you guys can see, we're staying at 60 FPS very steadily, we're not receiving any huge frame drops at all and uh, the teams are completely full so it is a full 32 v 32 match with planes tanks and everything and uh, we're staying at 60 fps which is great so let's go ahead and attack C here I don't know. Is that a dude that's a dude back there oh, okay they're behind us I don't know where okay hi how did he get through all of you people thank you dude I love you thank you oh I forgot I have a mortar okay let's use this mortar oh we can mortar C good all right, where are some people? They're over around the back. They're over here. Get them. They all live? Okay, he's in the house. He's in the house. This house. Did they get him? Ow, I'm getting hit. 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 Throw that down, and I died. <laughs> oh, you can spawn in the plane. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, no, spawn on the plane. Spawn on him. Okay, where's D? D? Ba -ba -ba. I just shoot a bunch at D. You shoot at D all the time. They're all down there. I see all their little names. No, I didn't mean to get out. Oh, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm kind of screwed right now. Um, oh, boy. Unless I can get down. I'm so close. I'm so close. Let me in. Oh, my gosh. I was like half a second away from getting back into the map, and then I died. That's Okay, I'm going to go on my dude here. Don't get shot at, dude. You just need to wait three seconds. Then we can attack. I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna snipe. All right, let's snipe at him. Oh no, they saw him. They saw him. No, that was bad, bad, 
No, no, no. Can I climb up here? No? Okay. All right, let's, okay. This is going to about 150. How far away is that? Yeah, that's good. All right. And I got killed instantly because I am great at this game. I'm very, very good. <laughs> Probably going to get watch me get insta-killed, I swear. <laughs> oh, I almost got insta-killed. Hi, bro. How you doing? Very good aim. And I'm dead again. Where are they coming from? Bah! Nope, missed him. Boop. Nope. Get him! Through the window! Okay, he got killed anyway. Alright. We did drop a little bit down there to 47. No, I hear a horse. I hear him. I hear him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nope, you're not going to hit me this time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Oh, hi. You got off your horse. Okay. Cool. Let's just sit on here as a medic. Help out my dudes with some med packs here. There you guys go. Some med packs. Since I'm really bad at the game, I actually usually play as a medic. Oh boy. Oh, okay guys. I'm gonna help ya. I got the the medic thing. Ooh, I almost got collateraled by that dude. Okay, I need I need this I need some health here. No, don't go dude, I hate it when people do that. I really hate it. I really hate it when people do that. Like I'm sitting right next to you, dude. You don't have to skip the thing when I can revive you and you can help me kill all these dudes that I'm really super terrible at the game and I can't do it. Look at how good I am. Oh, oh no, they see me. They see me. They see me. Oh boy. Time to hide. Hey dude, you might get sniped by the way. You might get sniped. So just, yeah, sit here with me and heal. I'm going to go ahead and get up and bayonet charge this way because I don't want to be here no more. Oh wow, that was a big frame drop. We just got hit with some mortars. But as you guys can see, it really doesn't last that long, which is good. And I am I am completely immobile right now. Okay, there we go. Run, dive, and throw your med stuff. Okay. Nope, you ain't touching me. Finally, I actually finally killed this dude who kept on attacking me on the horse. I'm going to stab this dude. Come here, bro. Shank him in the in the back. Get wrecked. And then I got shanked too. Oh, that was great. It was a domino effect. It was a Congo train of getting stabbed. Anyways, guys, that was it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. If you like this video a lot, please subscribe as well. If there are any games you want me to test out and see what performance I get on this computer, then go ahead and leave a suggestion down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.